Hello everybody and welcome to the another race of the NRSL MLP Cup Series. We're here live at Heartland Park in Topeka, Kansas for the running of the Napa 250. If you thought Portland was a was a heck of a road course, just wait till you'll see Topeka. On the pole today, it is the 41 of Kyle Beck on the outside is the 08 Zach Flickinger. Starting third is the 35 Tim Frelick and fourth is the 42 James Shelley. Fifth is the 5 of Kyoko Curry and sixth is the 37 Rod Houston. 7th is a 9 of Rarity, and 8th is the 8, 17 Mason Wood. 9th is a 34 Matthew Ziegler, and rounding out the top 10, the 28 of Seth Cole. Without further ado, let's go and hear those famous Brothers, words in motorsports. Stop your engines! Whoops, I apologize for that. <laughs> Nevertheless, Heartland Park Topeka might be unpredictable. We might, we'll see. Last time at Portland, it was an or, well, a, de a doozy of a race, to say the least. We'll see what happens here at Heartland Park. Oh, not a good start for these guys. Remember, that final turn is a dead turn. That's going to be the new turn of death back there as we get underway. 16 laps at Heartland Park, and the green flag is out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here, Kyle Beck is your leader. Now in second, Tim Freilich took advantage of Henry of the 08's bad start. And we're going to head over to our third road course of the season after this at Green Valley Ring, which I know is going to be fun because that's like a super speedway and road course combined. Here comes Harlan Park, though. The turns are the toughest turns to take. You see Kyle Beck and the 35 just spun out. Flickinger made it out, and he's still your leader. This is why it's unpredictable. This is what this is what makes it Heartland Park an unpredictable road course. Flickinger, no contest. Only Mason Wood is the only contestant to compete with the 20 of the 08. Only if the 08 screws up back there will he have a shot at the victory. And the caution is out today. And it's for Rod Houston, I think. I think it's for Rod Houston. He's in the pits right now as the 08 takes the green takes the caution. I do apologize for the little cut back there, but here's the wreck. There you see Rod Houston, the 34. Matthew Ziegler get loose behind the turn. Rainbow Dash also gets loose. There's Charles Sanford involved. Not a good day for him. He's got on the outside. And to add insult to injury, Houston got through the wall and got stuck. Yep, that's what happened. He got stuck on that wall, and he has to be teleported back to Pit Road. Wow. So, that's why Heartland Park, that what's, that's what makes Heartland Park an unpredictable track. Don't want to mess with this track. You don't want to un underestimate this track just because it's a road course. Luke Walker has just retired. Kyle Rose and Rod Houston has also retired too. The green is out again. Zach Flickinger leading. That could change though, here comes Seth Cole for the lead! And wow, we haven't even gone through that first turn, and already the caution is out! We we haven't even gone to the, the stripe yet, the caution came out before they even took the green! Um, I don't know what happened that brought out the caution that quick. They didn't even take the green flag. Let's see how this happened. There it was, just when it was about to stop the green, the caution came out. And they already went past the line. I'm not sure if they were be allowed to race back to the line, but um okay, now I know what happened. And I think this brought out the caution. Angel Navarro got stuck on the turn and someone, a lot of others spun. Either that or it might have been debris on the racetrack. 
And Seth Cole, they're not, and they're going to have to, I don't know if they're going to rule this a green flag. No, they're not ruling this a green flag. So they're going to have to restart the restart, literally. Okay, I hope this doesn't become a alarming, alarming trend. I really hope this doesn't become a new trend in this course, because if that happens, it'd be disaster. My goodness. They didn't even take the green flag. The caution came out as soon as the green was about to wave. They didn't even hit the start-finish line when the green flag came out. And the green is out. Let's see if the pace car is going to stay smoothly in pit row. No, he's not. Caution's out. And they're not going to race it to the stripe again. Okay, so... I don't even want to know what the why the caution came out this time. It's a little bit ridiculous, but okay. I don't know. Wow. Okay, so I don't know what's going on. I honestly don't know what's happening. Uh, the caution comes out every other lap before they even take the green flag. I really hope we don't get this a third time, because if we get this a third time, wow, I'm going to be so, you know. Green flag is out, and let's see if the caution comes out. Hallelujah, for once the caution didn't come out. Yep, the caution did not come out. Yay, we're going to get racing to a one-lapper. We're finally racing. So after an unusually long caution period, we're back under green. I'm going to try to get back up to, up to speed. Flickinger, your leader, as he has a big lead over Seth Cole thanks to all the cautions. Oh, here comes the turn. No, he just spun. He just got loose and so did Seth Cole. Mason Wood made it through to the lead. And I knew that turn of death would be a costly turn. That's the new turn of death. The new, new turn of death. Remember I had a turn of death at Portland? It was nothing compared to this. And with all the cautions we're going to be having soon, I think that the 17 might be safe to maybe win this race. Under caution. And we're not going to go back to look at that. We just already saw it already as Mason Wood leads us to the caution flag with eight to go. Might be even more when we get back under green because, you know, with all the cautions that's been having, I won't be surprised that if there is more cautions and a, green, a longer lap, it may be possible. So this race is still going to be run, but, well going to be unpredictably we'll never know when the caution could strike how long will it last so this is a race where we never know how long that the caution will last and the pace car should be coming out at this point because usually the um road courses take two laps green is out with six to go and yep another caution so i knew that that would be happening they had to call another caution the, the um field was not safe they were not prepared not sure if they're going to go back under green. It'll be three, four to go when they hit the stripe. So if they don't get back under green, this could be trouble. Uh-oh, something's wrong. Because I noticed there was a different, different driver in the lead. And I don't know. I guess they got loose on the turn. And Tim Frelick somehow gets credited for the lead. I don't know what happened. Freelix somehow is the leader after all this mess. After all this mess, somewhat Tim Freelix the leader. That I'll never know what happened back there, but this is Heartland Park and it's so unpredictable, it's not even funny. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully we're going to get back under green here at Harlan Park. If we don't get back under green, if that caution comes out again, this race is officially over.
And lo and behold, we're going to continue. This race is going to continue. Three to go, which means who... And yellow, wait, no. Is the yellow out? Yep. Yellow flag's out. They're not even going to have a chance to race it. Oh, no, they are going to have a chance. They're still racing on the high side, so let's see about the turn of death. The yellow just came out, so guess what? This race is over. This is the race to the line. One more turn for Freelick, and he doesn't make it! Neither does Flickinger, neither does James Shelley. Kyle Beck did it! He made it through the final turn of death. That was all he needed to do to make this to get the lead away. And in an unusual, weird, cr weird, crazy race here at Harlan Park, Henry No, the 41 of Kyle Beck, might make it out to the win. Here comes Kyle Beck, unless if something goes crazily wrong here at Harlan Park, he might be your winner. What are the odds of the top three spinning <coughs> on the <coughs> on the very same turn of death? Sorry for the cough. Two to go for Kyle Beck. Wow, was this a crazy race at Heartland Park, and I thought that Portland was crazy. Mason Wood is going to be really angry with the officials somewhat, or some way, someone. He's going to be angry with someone because he just lost this race. Or did he? White flag is out for Kyle Beck with one to go. Boy, has this been a wild and racky race at Heartland Park. I can't be I couldn't believe it myself either, so let's see if Kyle Beck can maintain his speed throughout and keep the checkered flag. I think he might. Off the final turn and he Whoa he gets hit! He does get a little clipping, but off the final turn, it's all good. Kyle Beck wins it here at Harland Park in one of the most unusual races I have ever seen. One more turn, one more final turn to go. And he's got it. Kyle Beck wins it here, the Napa 250 at Heartland Park, Topeka. What a race, folks. I mean, it was just one of the most unusual races I've ever done. I never thought this would happen like this at a road course, nevertheless. Kyle Beck, your winner, then it's Mason Wood, and Rarity for the second straight race finishes in the podium. Tim Frelick finishes in fourth, James Shelley fifth, Zach Flinger sixth, Stephen Pollard seventh, Alan Smith eighth, Matthew Ziegler ninth, and Jacob Lawler in tenth. And here's the rest of the field. Boy, was it an unusual race at Harland Park as Kyle Beck survives it all to win it here. And let's look at the standings. And another change of the points leader after this as Zach Flickinger is now your new leader by three points over Charles Sanfer. Henry Novus third, Rarities fourth, Rohit Vedarvu fifth, Alan Smith sixth, Pinkie Pie seventh, Kyle Beck eighth, Pollard, and then Leia Walker in tenth. And the rest below. The rest of the field is below. And by the way, Rod Houston has DNF'd in every race so far this season. And we have five drivers that have D not DNF'd this season. Sarah Yitzang, Pinkie Pie, Rahid Vedarvu, Henry Nova, Charles Sanford, Flickinger. Those are the only drivers that have not DNF'd yet. Houston has DNF'd in every race so far. But a redemption could come here at Green Valley Ring, which is our next race. The UNA, UNH 400, University of Northwestern Ohio 400. And I've seen Green Valley Racing. It could get a 10th. So be on the lookout for that as we'll see you later.